In this video, I am going to be talking about gouty arthritis and its treatment. Gouty arthritis is a form of arthritis where crystals of uric acid get deposited in the joints and that leads to inflammation leading to pain, swelling, warmth, redness and all that in the joint. So gouty arthritis is a very different type of arthritis from the others which are predominantly uh, autoimmune or degenerative in nature. This is called crystal arthropathy because it is triggered by the deposition of crystals of uric acid in the joint. So how does this crystal deposit? It happens when the level of uric acid in the blood goes up. What are the factors that lead to increase in uric acid in the blood? In some cases it is an inherited issue itself. Some people have a genetically inherited incapacity to excrete uric acid from their bodies. People with renal insufficiency, people who are not able to filter out the waste from the body because of certain problems with the kidney. People who eat food that is very rich in purines. Purines is a type of amino acids. So people who are eating purine rich foods have got a problem in, uh, in excreting that excess production of uh, uric acid in the system. There are also conditions where the blood cells or other cells in the body are being destroyed at a very high pace as what happens in certain chemotherapy or in a hemolytic or anemia or so on and so forth. When number of blood cells or other cells are being damaged and have to be processed by the system that also leads to the increase in the quantity of uric acid that is there in the body. When it crosses a particular threshold, uric acid begins to crystallize in the joint and that uric acid is like a foreign body to the, to the tissue and that triggers an immune response leading to inflammation in the joint. Uric acid can be slightly higher in the body without it causing any symptoms like gout. So many patients who have got slightly elevated uric acid are totally asymptomatic. They typically may not need much of treatment other than care in terms of their diet so that their uric acid doesn't cause, cross a particular threshold in order to create pain and other inflammatory conditions. Whereas several patients develop serious pain and uh, very very intolerable pain due to deposition of this uric acid crystal in the joint. These patients require to be treated immediately with some uh, pain relieving medications but also with uricosoric drugs as they are called. Modern medicine has a range of chemical uh, solutions uh, of drugs that are capable of improving the excretion of uric acid from the system. However, some of those drugs are initially triggering excess uh, uric acid into the bloodstream which can actually aggravate the gouty arthritis in the short term. But while many of them are able to provide solutions over the long period of time. However, there are a lot of people who are concerned about the negative effects or the side effects of these synthetic solutions and seek alternates in the natural form of medicine. Ayurveda has got very wonderful herbs that are capable of reducing the uric acid levels in the body and preventing and cure treating patients who are suffering from even conditions where it is crystallized and got deposited in the tissues. So gouty arthritis is very well treatable through Ayurvedic natural solutions. Most patients require only to take some herbal medicines and external applications that are helpful in relieving inflammation to the joints. However, very rarely some patients do not get the adequate relief from inflammation even with some medicines, very rarely. But we also have some uh, treatments comprising of therapies externally as well as some eliminative procedures like Vasti and Virechana which are very helpful in relieving that inflammation and restoring normalcy to those patients. But it's a very small percentage of those patients who require to seek inpatient treatment or uh, therapeutic interventions. Most of them can be de dealt with very beautifully with herbal medicines and external applications which they can use at their own home. In addition to that, it is also advisable from an Ayurvedic perspective to avoid high protein diets or vata increasing diets as we call them. So also, you know, foods that are rich in oil and spices are also to be avoided according to the Ayurvedic concept by people who are suffering from gouty arthritis. Any form of inflammation is also related to pitta and these types of foods which are rich in spices, very, very uh, rich in chilies, salt, sour and oily foods are foods that aggravate the pitta and thereby the inflammation that comes through. So Ayurvedic diet goes has a huge influence in relieving the condition in patients who are suffering from uh, gouty arthritis. 
and wonderful herbs like astrakanta longifolia this is one of the most important herbs used in ayurveda to relieve gouty arthritis and we have wonderful formulations made out of these and other herbs like dinospora cordifolia and so on and so forth which are extremely helpful in relieving the inflammation and addressing the root cause of gout which is high uric acid in the body so thereby ayurveda is able to offer a wonderful natural alternative to synthetic drugs in the treatment of gouty arthritis and we at avian arogya have the entire range of these herbal formulation as well as our doctors can advise you on a holistic lifestyle that can help to prevent and relieve you from the symptoms of gouty arthritis.